Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play a little bit more Dragon Age the Veil God today. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna get through more of this. Now I actually am quite curious as to what's gonna happen next. We have fulfilled the contract. Now let's go and do the next part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is something that you enjoy and that it also helps a gamer or three out there. Anything we should know about Colaban? You want to hear about his torture methods or something else? We didn't chat. It's fine. We can talk about something else. What's Katarina like? After so long in this bit, I barely remember. was entirely unnecessary. Zara looks like a vampire. Jests. He's already the demon of Irantium. Won't this be ironic? Hilarious. And now look at the mess you've made of my facility. She always leaves me to clean up. So this is Caliban. He is. The target I was sent for a year ago. A crow never abandons a contract. Feed him with absolutely no. With exchange for my life. Oh no, there's a bit of health here. Okay, that's better. Oh, you brought rough. Well, that was extremely useless. I'm gonna try beat him, but oh wow, the damage. Way too much. I'm just gonna focus on attacking you now. I feel like the best thing I can do is shoot him with this. No one leaves here. You will pay for your arrogance, bro. That was air attack was a heap of damage. Oh. I am the right hand of Zara. You will fall. You will return to your chain. Those attacks come out extremely well. I have no yeah. healing thing though. Okay, now I really need My blood, I come to on survive. Too. Whoa! No way! Don't do that! That's called cheating! Calling in a pride demon to help you out. Caliban's pride! <laughs> Caliban's pride because he was losing. Is he possessed by the demon or is it just that... Oh, maybe he is possessed by the demon. Is this 
come up with anything. I'll give it a bit longer so that I can come up my attacks. Elephant's pride, that's hilarious. Whoa! Focus and try and do this without making too many mistakes. He's gonna appear right next to me. Time to run! Now I like my chances. Just a little bit better. Not a lot better, a little bit better. Just need to make sure that I'm not getting within his range of attack! Now I like going upstairs and the downstairs. It, it mixes things up nicely. So then, whoa! When he, you know, comes in close, I'm just gonna head upstairs. Now we're talking. So like, you can change upstairs and downstairs, and I feel like that's a really neat way of doing it. You know, like if you're really concerned, just jump over and downstairs, and yeah, with that of his rage, totally. And now we're getting a little bit closer to the video. Himself. What? That is absolutely nuts. Let's see how we go, but that is that is that is cheating. Being upstairs seems to be like a really good way to deal with this guy. As long as you don't get targeted, it seems. Spells from upstairs. Really good way to do it. Assuming you don't get hit by any of his spells. Oh, I see. I'm also dealing with his flame of death. That's a problem as well. Oh, come on! I'm that close. If I die now, that would be the worst. That would be just... I'm gonna head upstairs again.
go. His area attacked it. Uh, good damage to me there. Finish him off wherever he is. Just kill him. Job's done. Smells like blood. Ashes. Not done. Not yet. Who are you, mate? Are you okay? Lucanus, are you alright? Lucanus, what are you looking at? Careful. They know we're not right. You cannot see him. I wondered. We clearly have things to discuss. Somewhere else. Agreed. I think it's time I got some air. Okay. We go. He's not that powerful. I was waiting for somebody a bit stronger, to be honest. Let's go. I'm ready to get out of this place. Imagine how I feel. He didn't feel that powerful, but I don't really understand anything about him that's unique. The old Mass Effect games, you would really feel awesome when you're a crew to squad member. This guy, I'm like, ah, hey, he's alright. It's not bad, but Make it's just not the same. Like what happened here? A message from Zarenata. I can't believe it. You're home. Zyra? Her people got this close? The woman who runs the prison? The Benatori witch who captured me. Revenge for the breakout, maybe. Where's Katarina? She is. The Venatori caught her in the confusion. I get one of you back, only to lose the other. Okay. I have to say, how can you do this without making it really emotionally investive? Like, I don't understand, like, this just feels stale compared to Mass Effect and even Dragon Age, and I don't understand how. It's a good game, but it's very same-samey. Like, how is this character not standing out? How are these guys not furious? Uh, my condolences. Lucanus, I'm so sorry. I need to work. Are you sure? You should take some time. I don't Nobody's die. convincing me here. I need a target. You just got here, and already you want to leave again? Katerina gave me a contract. I'm not breaking the last deal she ever made. And I owe Rook. Once that's done, I'll come home. I'll make sure of it. I'll return him in one piece. Thank you. Cosi, when you find Sara, I want, I need to be there. We are under attack. Antam on one side and Avenatori on the other. Forget revenge. We need you. No, Viago. Sara came for us here, in my house. She took Katerina from my house. 
You find her Vega. and cut her heart out, Nukanis. V and I will hold down the fort. I'll give her your regards, Thea. For Katerina. Ah, uh, it's almost there. It is. It is almost what I'd expect. They the should have shown Katerina being. But the demon of Irantium was free at last. Sooner or later, debts new and old would come due. Is that? They're the same thing. Mostly, kind of. Except one will manipulate you, or kill you, or both. But how do you get rid of them? Um, what's everyone talking about? Spite. The demon in Lucanus. When a person gets possessed, the demon usually takes control. And they turn into a monster. The spirit just molds them however they want. I've heard of abominations being cured by killing the demon in the faith. That's not a sure bet, though. Well, there's one way, but it's, well... We'd have to, um... Mm. You'd have to kill me. Okay, that's interesting. There's got to be another way. We're playing a Dragon Age game where you change the fate of the world. There's got to be another way. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Somehow, they still make this feel a little lifeless, and I don't understand, because, like, Mass Effect games had really interesting characters, and at this table, everybody feels too same-samey, and I don't understand how, because they should feel wildly different and wildly interesting. Like, where's our Jack kind of character from Mass Effect? Where's our outliers that really stand out, you know? Like, this guy is cool, but... That can't be the only solution. Can't we reason with Spite, maybe? Persuade it to leave? Talk doesn't work on Spite. She won't hurt you. How sweet. Uh, I want to talk to her! Before we do... Well... That... Let's think this through some more. There has to be a solution. I have people in Marathas I can ask, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. All right. So what next? Let me talk to them. I want to talk to them. Lucanus. Nope. It's fine. I'm fine. He hurt you. Why? What did he do that for? Throwing a tantrum when he doesn't get his way. But he could just take you over. Make you do what he wants. It's, you know, not great, but kind of good news, in a way. It's not you shouldn't be used to this. We're dealing with supernatural characters and creatures who are just doing all kinds of crazy. You know, like from Mass Effect to this, there's always insane. So let's go, he could kill you. This is not fine. You shouldn't be used to this. That's true. Um, he could kill you. You're bleeding. Maybe that's not fine. He won't kill me. He cannot do that and get what he wants. Just give me a minute. He'll get bored once everyone leaves. He's... I don't understand. Because... If they wanted to make the cinematic of, um, like, if they wanted to make his family getting captured have way, we should have had a cinematic of her being kidnapped when we came back, and there should have actually been emotion in the dialogue that was happening when Lucanus came back, whereas... 
the Kaias came back and everybody was like, Oh, you're back. Yay. How good. Our friend was captured. And, like, it's, it's, it's not terribly done, but it's just not investing me as much as I want it to and the like, Mass Effect and even the old school Dragon Age just had a different oomph to it. Um, he's not interesting enough to romance. As a chick romancing like him, like it, he's not interesting enough to romance. So I'm gonna say welcome to the team. I know things have been complicated but I'm glad you're here, Lucanus. Contract aside, I owe you a debt. Lucanus. Please. And somebody who's powerful enough to supposedly kill the gods? I don't believe it yet. I didn't see him be strong enough. The enemies are interesting, I'll say that. Our teammates? Uh... So so. Like the idea is interesting. Rough shape under the Antom's occupation. I should see how the crows are doing. The idea is interesting, but I don't think the execution is as good as I want it it to be. Just give me a minute. for time. Is this long enough? Yes, my head's clearer. Though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, I mean. Not today. You've got questions. You might as well ask them. How did you get captured? You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I had a contract for Coliban, in the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Minrathos. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. Okay. Are you okay taking this job? I know Katerina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it. Especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Brooke. Such as? I owe you a debt, for one. I mean, after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. Make yourself at home. He's already indebted to me. He's gonna do his job. The crossroads can be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you see a spirit around called the caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so I try not to do it much. No one was in the ossuary by choice. Not even the demons. Okay. We both did what we had to, to get out of there. I have to say as well, that you have a character who's being possessed by demons, and has spent a whole bunch of time being imprisoned in an area filled with demons and enemies and all kinds of monsters. How does he feel so normal after that? If this was the Mass Effect 2 era, this character would be Jack. And Jack would be extremely interesting as a personality and extremely out there. And somehow they've just tamed down some of the oomph that the old Bioware games had. I don't understand why. 
this guy should be haunted and angry and expressive and yeah, I don't know, there's just something missing for me with this. But it's not bad. I don't want to romance him. Let's go. Uh What sets fight off? We should know. Is there anything in particular that upsets Spite? Not getting his way. Getting his way and not liking the outcome. Sounds like a child. Have you seen a child when they realize they don't control the world? Except Spite's anger has real power behind it. Leave Spite to me. If he's trapped in this world, he has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods, magic, politics. Hmm. Things are going to get very bloody. I don't know, kick it or something? Oh, yes. Just be careful. Some things don't do well. If you break them, I mean. What kind of don't do well are we talking about? Oh, you know, reality tears, wild magical energy. Also, for some reason, bees? I don't know why. And I don't know why this won't work. Thought I'd figured it out. But it keeps breaking, and I can't get my thoughts to line up. You fixed the alluvian, though. The Alluvian was easy. Once I replaced the resonance crystals, adjusted the lyrium lens, it worked fine. I mean, I had to realign the matrices, but it just worked. Not like this thing. You're smart. You've got this. You don't give yourself enough credit. You're smart. You'll figure it out. Well, thank you for thinking that. Of course. Also, what is it exactly? It's the Nodis Durthalen, the Eighth Archive. We... I heard it was gone forever, but here it is. So what does it do? It knows things, whatever its creator knew, at least. So much knowledge, all the wonders of Elvenon. Or at least bits of them, which is more than we have. Once I figure it out, at least, whoever made it was powerful, but clumsy. It's resonating off tempo. Need to match it. First, introduce a microfracture. But before that, you'll need the fate harmonics. So. Sorry, I, I ramble sometimes. I'm a rambler. Ruined a lot of relationships. Most of the people I've been with didn't care for it. And I'm doing it again. Okay, she is awesome. I might ram romance her in this game. I like your rambling. I could listen to you ramble all day. Oh, well, same to you. Not that you ramble, you should talk more. I mean, you talk plenty. Just the right amount. Ideal talking. Okay. Anyway, the Nodis Durthalen. I'll get back to it. Soon. But I think I need a break. Maybe take a nap and I can finish later. Whatever helps. Hey, if napping works, then nap away. Okay, I will. Anyways, let me know if you need me. I'll be ready. Okay, I love her. She they is... found someone who could fix their mirror. One of Arlothan's own veil jumpers. Just what they were looking for. 
And Bellara had found something else. An artifact that held a wealth of lost knowledge. But a prize like that was going to attract more attention than they'd bargained for. Oh, they're showing us the antagonists for each of these people that we have in our squad. I got it now. Okay, so... Lucaris' enemy is that witch who captured him. She's a devil from the looks of things. Um, the Venatori are going to be our enemy for her. The dwarf's dealing with being possessed by the titan. And otherwise, everything else is going smoothly. Brilliant. Alright, I think I've finished this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm having a blast playing this. And I won't get through too much more tonight. I'll see you next time in Games Games.